Hey guys, so what is up? Red Pen Money here. How you guys all doing? I hope you all do really well and have a really great day. In this video, I just received a gold shell. This is a mini Doge Litecoin slash Dogecoin miner. As you guys know, we can Litecoin and merge mining Dogecoin. So this is extremely small. If we were to compare it to, like, let's say a graphic card, you guys can see the comparison there. Okay, so thank you to Crypto Miner Bros for sending me this little guy. Look at this. This is really small. Only requires a single six pin for power. And uh, let me show you guys the power adapter. Okay, so this will not work in my location. So thankfully, I do have a regular, you know, 120 volt plug here. A simple computer cable in North America. And later on, we will see how much power this thing exactly takes because from what I heard, the specs of this is supposed to do 185 mega hash at about 233 watts. Okay, so there's the ethernet port and that's basically it. It's just power and ethernet and this thing will go to town in mining a Dogecoin, well, Litecoin and then merge mining Dogecoin. So guys, later on in this video, I am going to see, you know, we're going to do a hash per watt comparison in terms of efficiency compared to like an L3 plus. Okay. As this thing just came out from gold shell. All right. And so, you know, the, you guys know the Bitmain L3 plus, I have one of those in my barn right now mining. So we're going to see in terms of efficiency, which one is better, if not maybe potentially the same. So we'll do that later on in this video but guys look at this this is a little tiny basically an ASIC this seems like it would be great for those that uh, you know are into dogecoin and you know they like the symbol on this ASIC miner uh, that gold shell has put on here interesting <laughs> like to the moon dogecoin astronaut of course right I'm curious to know how loud this thing is so without further ado let's just let's just go ahead let me place it on top of my GPUs which I have not made a mining rig yet of and let's look at the power block for this thing holy smoke this is pretty you know what i'm i'm pretty sure this is heavier than the little asic itself yeah you know what it actually feels heavier this is a lot heavier than that so that's actually pretty funny for the power brick but you guys can see on the other end here this is the six pin okay and then on the other end of the power block goes into a regular power cable all right so let me plug that in right now and uh, later on guys also within this video I am going to let this run for a couple days and so we'll see how much the profitability uh, in terms of uh, how much Litecoin and merge mining Dogecoin this thing will run okay and I'll also compare it to my L3 plus uh, later on in this video so let me just uh, quickly plug this in guys I gotta put my camera down Okay, it looks like it turned on automatically. Obviously, there's no power switch or anything on this mini Doge miner. I'm actually curious to know how loud this thing is going to be. It looks like these are 280 mil fans, maybe potentially smaller. I do feel a decent amount of airflow coming out of the back of this thing. But right now, it looks like it's just starting up. So I am going to, uh, I got to plug a network cable in and then I need to most likely add in my address uh, to the pool, which I'm mining to pool in on most of my ASICs right now. So guys, let me do that in a sec. I will see you guys in a bit. Okay, I got it mining, my friends. There you go. Power consumption right now is at 234, almost 235 watts. I've seen it jump up and down to 234, but 235 watts, okay? At the wall for this whole thing mining, and I will show you guys the hash rate right now. So on my computer here, and uh, this is the gold shell GUI, all right? And uh, the web GUI, and it looks pretty cool actually. It looks really good. Much better than the Bitmain or InnoSilicon ones. I think this looks uh, pretty cool from Gold Shell. This is my first look into the Gold Shell style ASIC miners, okay? So, you guys can see, I've only had it on for about uh, less than 10 minutes, but there's a lot of cool information here. Looks like we're hovering around right now 176 mega hash. So, 
on the miner, I'll just show you guys just some things that we've seen here. So there's a different power plan, a couple different power plans, hash rate mode, balance mode, low power mode. So right now I have mine on hash rate mode. So we're gonna see how well that works out and I'm mining to pool in at the moment. Right now it looks like it should hopefully, uh, looks like the real time hash rate is not at the top yet. It's just started. Okay, so we should see something really soon. As you guys know, I have uh, an S19, you know, Bitcoin miner, I have an L3 Plus here, and I also have another Bitcoin miner, the M32. So I will have update videos on all these ones, guys. Just, it's gonna come up real soon. Stay tuned for that. I'll show you guys how much Bitcoin and Litecoin and Dogecoin we've mined on my L3 Plus. And of course, this little guy, okay? So I'm gonna let this go now for the next couple days. Man, this thing is actually pretty small. It is pumping out a decent amount of heat right now. So hopefully this thing should last in uh, my environment here. I'm actually thinking of putting this in my barn later on. But anyways guys, I will see you in about a couple seconds. All right guys, then we'll see what the profitability is and I'll do a comparison to my L3 Plus. And also we'll do a comparison to a GPU. You know, what's better to buy? One of these or maybe a graphic card, all right? so. I will see you guys in a sec. All right, so it's been a couple days, about four days or so. So you can see I have turned this thing on back on July 16th. For the past three days, four days or so, looks like we've mined about, I'll show you exactly how much Litecoin and Dogecoin we've mined here. All right, so 0 0.0054, let's see, 0 0.052, 0 0.053. So that's roughly around, yeah, around the average of how much Litecoin that this mini Doge from gold shell that it's been mining all right so now let's go to dogecoin here and you can see here the past couple days we've been averaging about i would say nine or ten dogecoin a day all right so not too bad but maybe you guys are wondering in total how much this is worth okay so i'm just going to grab this number here we're going to go to coin gecko we're going to type in a litecoin uh, as you guys right <laughs> right now as of recording this video uh, the market is it has been going down so the profitability of this is going to be a little bit underwhelming, but we'll see, I guess. So the Litecoin we mine per day is about 57 cents. Now, if we go to the Dogecoin payment, let's just do uh, let's just do the nine Dogecoin instead of the 10, you know. And so we've mined about a dollar 58. Wow. Nine Dogecoin is a dollar 58 in one day. That's pretty good. So if we combine the Dogecoin and Litecoin, that's about... I'm going to say a good $2.10, all right? So this little tiny gold shell mini doge home miner, as of right now, as of recording, with the current prices of crypto, it mines about $2 a day, okay? Minus, I guess, your electrical cost, which uh, this thing only takes about, as you guys know, 235 watts or so, 233. So it's, it's pretty small. It's not significant but it's you know i would say less than i'm just doing the math in my head maybe less than 50 30 40 cents a day depending on your electrical cost okay so yeah there you guys go that's how much we've mined uh, in terms of uh, daily okay so i will have i guess a one month profit video or maybe a couple months later how much uh, we've mined thus far i don't think i want to make a video every month about this but pretty interesting this little ASIC miner, Doge, ASIC miner, uh, I guess Litecoin, Dogecoin. So right now on Crypto Miner Bros, this thing's about $1,348. Okay, so it's it's kind of comparable to like a video card. So now that's actually where I want to do some comparisons here. So as some of you who follow me, I'm a, mainly a huge GPU miner. So if we look at the prices of GPUs, let's just say, for example, an RTX 3080. So right now an RTX 3080 is going for maybe recently sold, you know, 1425, 1575, 1399. So it looks like the prices have been kind of coming down, but just to give an example, I'm we're going to compare here an RTX 3080 in terms of profitability to the Dogecoin miner. Okay, so as of right now, of course. All right. So if we just go RTX 3080, I'm going to keep the stock clocks here just average here. Uh, 10 cents kilowatt hour. So I told you guys earlier the Dogecoin was getting about two dollars a day. So an RTX 3080, as of right now, is getting about four, 
is getting about four dollars and forty six cents a day if you're mining Ethereum. Okay, so that's almost double than what you are paying for. All right, so comparing you know the Gold Shell Mini Doge to a a GPU, right? This thirty eighty in terms of price, right? It's all going to depend. But also, as well as, you know, if you're going to buy a GPU, you also have that resale factor, right? Versus an ASIC miner as, you know, if the market decides to go much more further down, as we've seen before, ASIC miners have been worth like nothing. They've been worth pretty much nothing. Like I remember L3 pluses being like $50 and now L3 pluses go for, let's just see on eBay, <laughs> over a thousand dollars which is just crazy, right? Just crazy. All right, now this is where I want to segue into the hash per watt metric for the Mini Doge versus the Bitmain L3 Plus. So you guys know that the Bitmain L3 Plus has come out back in like, I think 2017. Let me bring that up here. Let's just go L3 Plus. And the L3 Plus came out back in October of 2017. Right. And then this gold shell mini doge has come out in July of 2021. Just to look at the efficiency here, comparing to mini doge and L3 plus uh, just looking at the numbers here. All right. The hash rate versus the power consumption. All right. We do the divide number here and in, in percentage, it's only about 3%, 4% difference in terms of efficiency. All right. For the gold shell mini doge. So to be honest, you're looking at, you know, looking at buying one of these gold shell mini doges for 1348 uh, or an L3 plus for 1100, $1,000, right? So, I mean, yeah, you're either going to buy this four year old L3 plus or you're going to buy this mini doge home miner, which uh, is, in my opinion, it the efficiency is almost the same, right? And so, yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't know what else to say, except I don't think uh, these Gold Shell Mini Doges has gotten that much more efficient. Now, it looks like they have a Gold Shell LT5. I'm not quite sure if anyone has one of these, but man, yeah, these ASICs, as you guys know, as they come out, you know, if people are going to pre-order them. They cost a lot, right? They cost a lot. And so, I don't know. It really depends how you look at this this little tiny ASIC miner, sure, it looks pretty cool. As I, as I showed you guys earlier in the video, it's a little tiny, you know, ASIC miner. You know, it can just put it beside your desk or something as a little tiny heater. Or, you know, you gotta thaw some chicken or something. I don't know. You know, it's cool. It's cool in that aspect that it's really small. But would I, for me personally, would I buy one? No, no. I, I would most likely invest in a graphic card at this price or a graphic card like a RTX 3080 like I, I showed earlier. Okay. Or, you, you know, you can buy a few more GPUs, lesser, you know, lesser powerful GPUs for mining, like, like maybe a 3060 Ti, 3060 or, you know, 2070 or something. You can buy a couple of those for maybe, you know, maybe two of those versus, you know, one of these gold shell mini doges or something. Anyways, guys, that's it. Let me know your thoughts of what I talked about and also the profits uh, for my little L3, uh, sorry, mini doge miner. Okay. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one and peace out.